doing out there? We hunt one of them so-called sacred deers or something like that. It's gonna be a blast. What's up guys, Jared here with another fantastic movie review. So there's been a lot of buzz around the movie that I saw yesterday, and I knew nothing but the name, so I headed out to the old movie theater and I saw The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I went into this movie completely blind, and about halfway through I was like a deer in the headlights. So is The Killing of a Sacred Deer actually a dark, gritty sequel to Bambi? Let's find out. So first things first, The Killing of a Sacred Deer comes from A24, and if you're not familiar with the A24 films, they're quite a bit different than the traditional Hollywood ones. The story essentially follows Stephen, played by Colin Farrell, who is a surgeon. He has a wonderful family and a beautiful wife, played by Nicole Kidman. It is then revealed that Stephen has had this mentor-mentee relationship with this odd teenage boy by the name of Martin, played by Barry Keoghan. Steve is forced to make an unthinkable sacrifice after his life starts falling apart when Martin's behavior becomes more and more sinister. Okay, so I went into this movie without seeing the trailer. I had heard some good things, so I thought, why not? But wow, I did not expect to get this chilling, eerie psychological thriller. I should have known what I was getting into after I saw the A24 logo. I thought this movie was really intriguing. For the first hour, it's almost this weird mystery because you're wondering what's going on, who are these people, what are their relationships, and then pieces of the puzzle start falling into place, and you're like, holy fucking shit. It was something new and I thought it was fairly enjoyable. Like I said, this movie was eerie, almost unsettling all throughout, and the cast was what helped reinforce this. Colin Farrell's character is just a mystery. You think that he's this everyday normal surgeon, but as the movie goes on, there's something off about this guy. The way he talked, the way he acted, it just didn't come off as a normal person. The same went for Nicole Kidman's character, it just didn't feel right. But the one performance that really made me shit my pants was Barry Keoghan's. He played his Martin character perfectly as this socially awkward, mentally not entirely there teenage boy. You don't know if he's there to be mentored or just needs a family or he's a straight up stalker. The way he portrayed this character was nothing but unsettling and every time he was on screen, the audience had to have felt uneasy. Another aspect in this film that just worked was the sound design. The drowning drums and quick piano notes really added character and set the mood to the film. Several scenes are just visuals with music, most notably the opening and closing, making it that chilling thriller. Uh, that it was meant to be. Now, this movie wasn't perfect. It had a few flaws that were very apparent. The movie felt like it dragged on towards the middle or later parts. It could have benefited from maybe getting 10 minutes chopped off. Colin Farrell's character was a bit monotone towards the beginning of the film. I don't know if it was the script or the way that they told him to act, but it just was distracting. And lastly, there was way too many questions and not enough answers in this movie. I mean way too many questions. But of course, this being an A24 production, you could have known that this was going to be the case going into this film. With no spoilers, why is Steven hanging out with Martin? Why is the wife laying in bed that way? What exactly is the cause of this? What the hell is going on? Overall, The Killing of a Sacred Deer is an eerie psychological thriller that keeps you engaged throughout. With an intriguing story, chilling performances, and superb sound design. But with the film being a little too long and not enough answers, I'd marginally recommend checking out The Killing of a Sacred Deer. If you're a fan of indies, go for it. If you're more of a traditional movie fan, I'd probably skip this one. What did you think of The Killing of a Sacred Deer? Was it the psychological thriller A24 production you were hoping for? Or did this just give too many questions and not enough answers? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later.